There's dreams that stand up, There's issue of dreams that you normally dream. And this dream is an attack to you, where you see a man coming to sleep with you. Huh? But it's a long time. It's an attack to you. Okay. That man has brought problems to you. Like now you are here, your life is like you are under a cage. You understand? Nothing is moving around you. Where is your husband? At work. Huh? At work. Tell him that I've prayed for you. So the ministry will move well. Hallelujah. You're free. Tell us your name and where you come from. I'm Pastor Gabini from Gomshanga. And the man of God located you today. Can you tell us what is it that he said and the confirmation? Uh, he talks about the spiritual husband that is destroying my marriage and he said I'm I'm in a cage. And for how long have you been experiencing the spiritual husband? Uh, it's been more than five years. And when uh, it would appear, what are the things that would happen in your life? They will just uh, bring the stagnation and there is no love. So my life is it's not, it's not completing. Always I'm in stagnation in all areas in my life. And as you are a servant of God, did you once wondered or thought that it's time you, you go for deliverance? Yes. And, and, and did you believe that today God was going to locate you? Yes, I believed. I came here because of I believed that uh, the man of God will locate me. And when he prayed for you, what happened? I, the man of God prayed for me, and then I, I become delivered. And how are you feeling now? I'm, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free, especially um, in my heart. I've got that joy. Joy. Any words of encouragement to the viewers? Uh, to the viewers, I, I said, uh, trust in the Lord. the Lord. The Lord knows everything about your life. Just put your trust in Him and believe in Him. And then because of the anointing, the yokes shall be broken. Amen. Yes, Where is your wife? Why you people are fighting? Because I see this lady crying. Huh? We were supposed to buy a car from a dealer. The dealer took all the money. The so I was crying because I, I promised my husband that I was going to buy the car. Huh? So now they took all our money. Which dealer? It was a dealer in Prague Park. Took all the money. You know it. And I, I, I found them on the internet, on the website, and I thought they were genuine. I transferred the money. It was not a dealer, it was a scam. <laughs> yes. So, are you aware? <laughs> yes, sir. I, I told you that uh, we should have gone there in person. So, she went there in the morning at work. So, when, she came, when you saw us outside, she was just arriving, telling me. So, I was saying, no, always where the Lord Come, will make a way. for you so that you get your money. You, you'll get your money. Amen. Come on. Come on, you demon, leave it. Out. Can you put a mic in your mouth there? Oh. Oh. I say, leave it. Oh, I'm delivering people. Huh? Oh. She's delivering people. She's doing what? She's delivering people. She's delivering people. She's delivering people. How do you attack her? You know she's a pastor, eh? She's a prophetess and she doesn't want huh? to be in my kingdom. She's what? She doesn't want to come into my kingdom. Who I want her as a sangoma and she's busy. You don't know her. She's a prophetess. So now you're attacking her. How do you attack her? I make her to be very, very poor so that she will lose it. You make her poor so that she worry. I don't want her to have cow or anything. I don't want her to have a family or cars or anything. I want to scatter her ministry. 
You want to scatter the ministry? Who are you? Who, who are you speaking? I'm uh, uh, I'm Skokoni. Huh? Skokoni. I'm Skokoni. I'm Skokoni. I'm Skokoni. Who are you? I'm Skokoni. I'm Skokoni. I'm Skokoni. I'm Skokoni in a family. There must be Sangomas. Why stands she can't become a Sangomas? There must be Sangomas in the family. So it's a Sangomas spirit. So leave her now. In Jesus' name. You are delivered in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. You are free. In the name of Jesus. Christ. Rise up. My sister, do you have a church? Yes, Apostle. I'm a, eh? I'm a, I'm a prophetess. You're a prophetess? Yes. Were you aware that you have a demon? No. Huh? I'm not aware. So you have never manifested a demon, eh? But that demon has left you now. Amen. And you carry on with the way. Amen. What's your name and where you come from? My name is, Le is Pastor Prophetess Lindua Matlangu. I come from Davidson. Can you tell us the prophecy you received and the confirmation? Pardon? The prophecy you received and the confirmation. Okay. Uh, I was called and I was chosen by God um, years and years ago, but I never recognized that I, have, I am called. So I've been in and out of the churches, going around until I met a certain pastor in Davidson by Prophet Malaza. He delivered me and then he anointed me as a prophetess. From then, I've started to see dreams, I've started to see uh, visions, then I've started to prophesy people. Then, I, and then that's when I started last year to come to Charis. Then the apostles started to anoint all the pastors I was anointed. And then that's when I, was, I started to grow more and more. Every time when I dream, when I see things, I was always told that I am promoted. I can now uh, pray for the people. Then people, they got healed. I'm operating here around in Tembisa. And what is it that he said to you today? What did he say to you today? God himself. God, he told me, you know, Lindy, where you are the chosen, and then something like I was taken. The apostle, um, he, he, he came. He, I was I was seated down, and then he came and he prayed for the for the pastors, and then I was one of the pastors who was prayed for. Then the apostle told me that I had a demon. Then I fell down. I don't know what happened to me, but when I woke up. I felt like I went somewhere, then I came back. When I came back, I was from the floor. Then the apostle told me that I am delivered from the demon that was disturbing me from, my, from the ministry. In the beginning, you said you got deliverance, and today the man of God said you had a demon. Did it ever occur to you that you, have, you still have a demon? It never occurred to me until today, but I knew that something was busy bothering me, distracting me, but I didn't know what was the solution. So today, I know that I had a demon who was hindering my, my ministry and my life. And how are you feeling now that you have been delivered? I feel so loose and I feel something like has been shaken off my shoulder. Words of encouragement to the viewers? To all people, especially here in South Africa, that they accuse, especially Apostle Makanenisa and other apostles, that they, are, that they are using some metrics and what. This is real. This is a reality. These people are anointed men of God. They are using powers from God Almighty, not uh, some other powers. Amen. Stand up, my brother. You have been crying to be anointed today. Huh? Yes, sir. Never touch your stomach. Where do you come from? Huh? I'm from Pumalanga, but originally Zambia. God wants to use you, eh? That's what huh? Tonight, I saw you in a dream tonight. You say what? I saw you in the dream tonight. I can't hear. I, I saw you in the dream tonight. 
I, after I saw the calendar where I was slept, I saw you, you appear I in saw the you in the dream tonight after seeing you in the calendar this English where I'm sleeping. It's for educated people. I can't hear. You say, you say what? He said, <laughs> he saw you tonight after seeing you in the calendar where he's sleeping. He said triple, triple. He said tonight. He said triple. I can't hear. You say what, my brother? I saw you at night, sir. At night? Yes. You were saying what? I saw you. You were explaining how the power of the anointing on the hair. You, you were instructed me how the anointing should be on the hair. That's why God is telling me that he wants to use you. I must anoint you. Amen. You, you, stand up. Stand up. You are here for impartation. Is not true? Yes, it's true, Daddy. Huh? It's true. Let, let me anoint you. Leave him, leave him, leave his specs, leave his specs, leave his specs. Uh -huh. Now you can take them now. Take it! In the name of Jesus Christ, you are anointed. I... Rise up, my brother, rise up, rise up. I know, you can, you can look at him, rise up. I know what God is doing in him. He has never fallen down this man, he's a very strong man. He's a man of prayer. You know him? He's my husband. Eh? He's my husband. Stand up. He's your husband. Yes. He has surprises like this. Eh? Yes. Because you know he has never fallen down. Yes. Eh? Even yourself, you are falling now. Go and join your husband. Abba. 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 Where now? Abba. You are anointed. Stand up. Also introduce the person next to you. Uh, my name is uh, Leonard Kalengaimano. I'm from Mpumalanga, originated from Zambia. Uh, the woman who stands beside me, she's my wife. Today, the man of God located you. Can you tell us what is it that he said to you when he located you today? Uh, it's true for what uh, the man of God said. Uh, the man of God located me and said, uh, you come here for impartations, which is true, and which is bothering me since uh, I hear about this church. Yeah, it's true. When the man of God prayed for you, can you tell us what happened? At the time the man of God prayed for me, I feel something what I can't exp uh, I wasn't experienced before. I feel something like a right hand in my body, and I, f I was find myself fall down on the ground where I can't even exp uh, explain why I was find myself on the ground. Yeah. I, I feel something like a uh, strengthening in my in my body, and I uh, saw a lightning where I was laid down. And was this your first time to fall? No, I never fall before. That's why the man of God always says, "I'm a prayer of man, man of God," and I never fall just like that before. It was the first time to fall down like that. So how, how was it for you? I'm just very happy because this is my prayer. I pray for uh, somebody to uh, locate me and uh, release the power. Yeah, so it was my pleasure to, to receive the power from the man of God. And Mama, the man of God also called you to ask you if it is for the first time your husband is falling down. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, because it was his first time to fall in. He never fallen before, and I was surprised, and I was amazing what the Lord was going to him. I'm so happy even now. And when you saw him uh, um, turning around and at the end falling, how were you feeling when you were seeing him uh, under the power of God? Come again? When you saw him turning around and ended up falling down, how did you feel? when you saw him that he was under the power of God? I felt very good because I was just praying inside my heart, God to locate him, the man of God to locate him. And I was very happy the Lord has answered my prayer and what I was praying for. I'm so amazing. And I thank God for what I was wishing for. It has come true now. And after that, the man of God said you should join your husband. What happened to you? Hey, it was so amazing. I just find myself... I have joined him. I even I didn't know how I find myself there on the ground. And I just 
I don't know. I'm f- even right now, I'm feeling the power of God. I never felt this in my life before. It's just the first time. Yes. And after the man of God had prayed for you and left, you and your husband were crawling on your knees. What was happening? Were you not able to stand up on your own or what was going on? Can you, can you tell us? Yes, because as I experienced later on, I never experienced this before. I felt the power of God. I was shaking. I was failing to, to walk to stand up, to walk on my own. I felt the great power of God. I never experienced this before in my life. It was so amazing and powerful. I thank God for this. Amen. Man of God, can you tell us what are the words of encouragement as you came here believing that God is going to do something in your life and you were seeking for impartation and you received it, the anointing so heavily that you couldn't even contain it. What are the words of encouragement? Because there are other people out there that also believe that they can't fall under the power uh, under the power of God. What can you say to them? Uh, viewers all, all of the world, I just want to encourage you to be a man of God doesn't mean that I, you have power than God or the anointing of God. Uh, me, I came here just uh, to experience the power of God. Uh, I'm a man of God, uh, quite all right, but uh, we need uh, the power of men of God who are part of than us to give us more power. Like uh, Jesus went to, to John Baptist to, to submit to him. It doesn't mean that when you become the man of God, then you cannot fall down because the Holy Spirit doesn't respect anyone. So if you are, you are a man of God, then you, you know that you cannot go to the third man of God to pray for you who is more than you, then you're wasting your time. I'm just enjoying here. I'm just being blessed that God can make anyone to fall. Because it is the anointing. You can't even control the anointing. I count three, eh? One. Two. Tanala, Tanala. Hey, hey. Then I'm calling Tanala. I don't know if you're going to die in Qualabas. Eh? Stella in Qualabas. Stella in Qualabasha. Fernando, I'm Funella in Gas. You are the one who is Venda. Why are you helping him? So, um, Venda, when? Don't ask me. Yo. Tana. Tana la. Umisa lesh. Umisa. Three. Yeah. That's why I chase it. Because there are things here. They gave her things. You see, now she can fail to get a job because of these things. You see, she has to vomit. After she vomits, she's free. <laughs> if she does not vomit, call her. If she does not vomit, call her. Nothing will happen. She has to vomit those things. So that's why I chase her. One of the reasons why I chase her is because she, those things must come out. And remember, they say Minduku. So we cannot miss a miracle of Minduku. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. Especially for your life. Uh, I thank God many of you are possessed and uh, God loves you. I want to anoint you, eh? but you must stop listening to people. Yes, good. Yeah, because they are confusing you. Yes. Eh? Yes. People are telling you bad things about us. Yes, they It's really affecting you. Yes. Eh? They are talking, yes. Eh? They are talking. Yeah, so it's really affecting you. Leave these people. You carry on with praying. Amen.
People are talking what we don't even know, what we have never been, what we don't even know. I don't understand this. Oh, I was telling people like, what is hearing now? It's an attack. I was hearing this lady, come, this, this one. This one. I even called her to the office, this one. Because people are accusing her. How many of you know that she's being accused? Lift up your hand. No one knows. People are saying stories about these people. And she knows nothing. I call her. I even call my daughter. You understand? So you people here, you are, you are bringing frustration to others. It will come back to you. Let me anoint you. You are touching her also. Receive yours. Receive.